Hello, my name is Corey from FTC Team 9779 The Pie Eaters, and today I'll be making a video for those of you who want to get your robot up and running quickly and don't necessarily want to learn any of the code. So this won't necessarily teach you any concepts about the programming, but if you want to learn the concepts, go over to our channel and you can check out some of the other videos we've made. And those will show you what this code is actually doing and teach you a little bit about Java. So before you watch this video, make sure that you have Android Studio installed, which if you don't, you can watch one of our videos on getting Android Studio installed. Also make sure that your phones are communicating properly and that you have the correct version of the first SDK installed. And if you haven't done either of those, you can go out on firstinspires.org and look for the pushbot build guide, and that'll show you how to do those. Our video on installing Android Studio will also help you with that as well. So let's just go on over into Android Studio. So what we're going to do is copy one of the example op modes and modify it a little bit so that you can get it running on your robot. So we're going to go into the directory over here, and if it's not already over here on the left, just click the Project tab. And we're going to go into FTC Robot Controller, Java, or .firstinspires.ftc.robotcontroller and then external.samples. And this is where all the samples that FIRST has provided us are. Uh, scroll down to the very bottom of this list, and then find a file called template op mode iterative. Uh, and this is the uh, file that we're going to copy. So just right click it, and then say copy. And then now we're going to paste it into our op modes folder where the op modes are stored. So I'm just going to close this to make more room and go into team code, Java, and then this folder, org.firstinspires.ftc.teamcode, where our op modes are stored. And then we're just going to right click, and then say paste. Now it's going to ask for the name, and we'll call it drive tele -op. So here's the um, code for that op mode. And this particular op mode we're building assumes that your robot has two motors for wheels, and that's it. So once you're into this op mode, you're just going to scroll down uh, to right here, and where, right where it says at disabled, um, you're just going to add two slashes, which basically comments it out, uh, which means that the program will ignore it. So now scroll down uh, to right here where it says left motor equals hardware map dot DC motor dot get uh, and then just delete those two slashes so that now this is active and do the same for the line right below it with the right motor and then keep going down to left motor dot set direction uh, and right motor dot set direction and do the same thing for those so that these will be activated as well now keep scrolling down uh, down here where it says left motor dot set power and you're going to take those out as well it should work now, but if you notice that your robot is going the wrong direction when you push the forwards or backwards stick, you can just come up here and where it says left motor dot set direction and right motor dot set direction. If it's going forwards instead of backwards or backwards instead of forwards, you can just switch these two. So instead of forward and reverse, you can just do reverse and forwards. And then that should switch it properly so that your robot's now going the right direction. So that should be good for the code. Now all you need to do is upload it by plugging your robot controller phone into the computer. And then you're going to come up here and click this little play button. When this window shows up, it'll uh, show you your phone. Um, I don't have a phone plugged in right now, so nothing's showing up. But all you have to do is click on that phone and then click OK, and then it should upload it. So here we've got our two motored robot and we have our uh, robot controller phone and our driver station phone. Um, this robot controller we just uploaded to and this driver station we got the app off of the Google Play Store. So I've got my uh, apps launched and what I'm going to do first is plug in my robot controller and I'm also going to plug in the power. Uh, we're using the Rev Expansion Hub, but if you're using the Modern Robotics controllers, then it should be a very similar process. So what we're going to do is go into these three dots to get a menu, and we're going to say Configure Robot. 
and you're going to press this little new button to make a new configuration. So you're going to have to scan first to make sure that uh, the robot um, can find all of the hardware on your robot. And then you're just going to go into the Expansion Hub portal, uh, this thing. And this is where all of your hardware is stored. We're just going to go into Motors. So at this point, uh, with Modern Robotics, we can just choose a motor, but for the Rev Expansion Hub, we have to actually choose what motor it is. So we're using uh, NeverRest 40s. Um, so you have to choose what motor you're actually using there, and then we'll do the same for the uh, other one. Now we're just going to name them. So we're going to go ahead and name this one uh, left underscore drive. This has to match um, what it says in Android Studio, uh, but it should say left underscore drive. And then for the next one, we're just going to do right underscore drive. Again, this one has to match exactly with um, the Android Studio. And then once that's done, you just hit done, and then done, done. And then you can just do save, and then name it what you want. I'm going to name it drive config and then you just click OK and then you have to activate it so find the one that's yours and then do activate and then you can just hit the back button on the bottom of your phone to take you back to this menu and then we're done with the robot controller for now and then you're going to want to get out your driver station so now all we have to do is go to the drop-down menu, and it's this one, Template Iterative Op Mode. It should say that because we haven't actually named it yet. I'll show you how to name it in a second. But for now, we're just gonna uh, I'm gonna plug in the controller. And then we'll go ahead and run it. So now what you're gonna want to do is press um, Start A, and up here it should register a little controller and that means that your um, controller is active and able to be used. Um, and then now we're just going to press uh, init and then play and you should be able to use the left and right joysticks to control your robot. So now I'll show you how to uh, rename your op mode. Uh, if you come down to right here where it says at teleop, uh, right here where it says name in the quotes, you, you can just delete this template iterative op mode. And then in the quotes, you want to put whatever name of your op mode you want it to be. So uh, for now, I'll just call it drive uh, op mode. And then you just uh, re-upload that to the phone, and that's what should show up instead of template editor of op mode. Okay, so hopefully your robot's up and running. Uh, if you have any questions or something's not working, just leave us a comment. If you want to learn more about programming for FTC, you can uh, go to our channel and check out our other beginner guides.